Hey everybody, Mike Wolford here from the Dude's Kitchen and Grill and today we scored again. Wagyu beef, 50% off. Got two of them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a kind of a competition to see if the Cuisinart Grill can cook it better or the pellet grill. So we've got the pellet grill coming up to speed right now. We're gonna cook them at about 300 degrees on here between 270 and 5 and 300. And this one, we're gonna cook on low. So with this one, we've got apple wood on both, right? This one, I've got a tube with some apple wood in it. I'm just gonna put it down on here, put it down, and let the smoke go across. So with these, all we're going to do is use salt and pepper, nothing else. Salt down, throw some pepper on here, give them a flip, check out that marbling in there, that's crazy, big old flakes of salt, good old pepper, now it's time to put them on the pellet grill. But before I put it onto the pellet grill, the first steak, I want to tell you a little bit how I do it. I like to go down to the very end of the counter in the meat department and find the steaks that are half off, 30% off, whatever. That's exactly how I found these. 50% off, you know they're going to be good. They're just some, a little more aged than the stuff you'd find at regular price. I'm just going to put the first one down. And since this is obviously going to take longer than the Cuisinart, we're just going to let this thing sit for a little bit and then we'll go to the Cuisinart. We're at about 95 degrees on our steak right now here in the pellet grill. It's time for another episode of What's Zoe Doing? What are you doing, Zoe? Zoe, what are you doing? Just chilling? Alright, yeah. Lay down. Lay down. Let's say sit. Lay. Lay. Lay down. It's crazy. Like dog. all the women in Mike's life, Zoe has a mind of her own. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is we're going to put some. We're, we're cooking this with with apple pellets. We're going to do the same thing with this. Put it on the Cuisinart and get it started. I've already loaded some in here, but just needed a little bit extra. I'm going to flatten it out. Put it on the Cuisinart. Now the idea with this is this is going to start smoking and we'll have our steak over on this side and we'll open the top of this so the smoke will roll across the steak and out through the vent. Now we did put a probe in this earlier. You know this bad boy's going to be hot. Look at that. That's amazing. Put the probe back in. We're going to probe it. Check the temp from this side, which is 104. We hit the mark. Time to yank the steak off of here. Now this steak looks really good. I hardly wait to try it. We're going to let this sit for a moment as it finishes doing its thing and then we're going to give it a try. But in the meantime, the Cuisinart is now up to speed so we can throw the other steak on. The first thing I'm going to do, just throw a little butter down. That's really going to be our only difference that we're doing here just because this is on the griddle. Now listen to that sizzle. That sounds awesome. So we're going to bring this up to the same temperature and we're going to try it. So because we're on a griddle, I just want to make sure 
So we're doing the sear first on this. So we're going to flip it here. It's only been about a minute. We're going to flip it. So it's been another minute. Time to flip. Look at that. We got a nice sear on this. And I have the griddle down on low. So now it's just time to let it do its thing. It's at 130 degrees. I think it's time to remove it. All right, so they've been sitting for about 10 minutes each. Time to try them. I really want to try the Cuisinart first. Mm. I'm telling you, that is melt in your mouth. God, that is so good. It's just salt and pepper, that's it. It does have a little butter on it. We just use the butter to kind of give it a little bit of, so, so it doesn't directly sit on the cast iron plate on the Cuisinart, but holy moly, that's good. I think this is one I could eat every day. Mm. Damn. Now it's time for the pellet grill. See how it did. Mm. I think I've died and gone to heaven. That is awesome. The pellet grill is so tender because it took so much longer for this steak to cook. I think it just had a chance to work its, its, its pieces and parts together. Man. So I want to give the pellet grill another taste. grill does kind of outdo the Cuisinart just a little bit. This is the Cuisinart, this is the pellet grill. They're both spot on. I'm going to give this one just a little bit of an edge up though, just because it took longer to cook. Mm. So good, man. So good. All right, guys, there you go. The recipe's down below. Please remember to like, subscribe, ring that bell, comment, share. Steve the camera guy and I really appreciate you guys stopping by. Remember, the dude abides this time with Wagyu beef. You can't go wrong. Talk to you later, guys.